250 post-race press conference from Gillette Stadium. Uh, congratulations to Austin Forkner, Jet Lawrence, and Pierce Brown in the 250 division. Uh, Austin, we'll start with you. Um, I know this question's been asked, but I'll give you a chance to kind of go into you know, some layers of it. But y you missed this season. I had the injury. Um, I know your approach was a lot different this year and just the way you're going about things. But as bad as that may feel on that end, how good does it feel to be able to come back and not only have that great heat race last week and show that speed, but get this main event win and kind of remind yourself of, of who you are? And I have to imagine it. there's some positive feelings with that. Yeah, there is. It's it's been like two years since I've won a Supercross now, so that that did feel really good. And and I knew that I would come back still being, you know, like my goal anyway. I guess was still being one of the top guys. I didn't want to take any steps back. And definitely, I mean, after um, even just qualifying last weekend in Atlanta, I was like, all right, I'm still like like I'm right there. My speed's good. Um, and then the heat race went well. And then uh, the main didn't go that great. But I like I, I was still like I was one of those like one of the top guys, basically. So I knew that I was going to be good. Um, and yeah, I mean, it feels good to, to just get another win in general. You know, I mean, whether the year I had or not, you know, it just feels good to get a, a win since it's been, like I said, a, a few years now, just and good to finish the season um, strong or be in the direction to finish it strong. Um, after coming off injury so yeah it feels good for sure we're watching that race and pierce and rj up front you and jen are coming through the field we're all i mean locked in it was it was a really good race fun for us what is it like for you being in that mode and, and being in that environment with the crowd cheering and knowing that you know cameras are on and you guys are putting on a show what is it like for you to be on that side of it while we're watching yeah i mean it's cool um it's it's awesome and that's what that's that's what i've missed so much of being hurt and stuff over the past few years is just is just that you know whether i'm whether i'm winning whether i'm getting a podium whether i'm getting fifth you know just just any just being on the track racing with these guys is something that i've missed being injured so it's um that's that's what's cool is is being in the mix it's, and it makes it even cooler being in the mix like i was tonight um so yeah i mean racing's racing's awesome that's what we get paid to do congrats uh we'll kick it off again steve mathis steve mathis main event moto uh can i have a question for all three daniel now you can yeah thank Not. you okay jet first up uh congratulations on the championship your starts man i know i'm probably you know talking about a broken record here I, i'm sure you you practiced them you've made some bike changes you guys have worked on them it's definitely hurt you a little bit uh and again today i was watching out of the gate and you know the guys pulled you out how do you fix this what are you gonna do the urge not to jump over and fight you right now <laughs> Why? No, i'm kidding i'm joking <laughs> uh yeah i mean it the heat race was uh just that loose dirt it was the dirt was really gravelly today with a base to it and uh i just Got uh, not a bad jump. Uh, uh, Pierce was next to me, pretty even coming out, but he just ended up dropping that uh, weight little uh, back a bit better than I was. I was still forwards where he drove, and I just ended up spinning, which uh, which sucked. And then the the main event, I'm not quite sure. I think uh, I got out okay, mm -hmm. but I was just a bit off balance where the rear was kind of like jumping in and out of the rut a bit, so I lost all my traction there, which um. I mean, it sucks, but I was uh, I was just happy to make it through the first turn in uh, in both races. Sure, okay. Uh, Austin, I've talked to Mitch a lot this year. Joe's done okay, but it's been a deep, dark depression for him. You, one of the stars of the team, um, you know, you won. You had a great race today. Does it feel some relief for you, obviously, and for Mitch too, because? It's he's been very upset after the races sometimes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He he even said when we were watching film this week, he was like, guys, like, like I mean, obviously, you know, you know, as a team owner, obviously you want your guys to win every race. But he was like, guys, like another, you know, like like we need we need a we need another win to end the season. And I like I mean, obviously I wanted that too. But I was like, yeah, you know, like I I I'm gonna try to do that. And then this weekend it it worked out. So um. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's not like he's been stressing it, like, on, on me, I guess. But he was just like, I was just like, guys, like, we only got a couple more races. Like, right. let's try to get one. And I was like, dude, I, I know. Like, I know. I'm, I'm right there with you. Right, right. And Pierce, for you, you led a lot of laps, uh, still in and up the box. What's the feeling, though? Are you are you okay? Or is this, like, a, a bit of a letdown? Like, where are we at with this? Uh, you know, podium's always great. But, yeah, you led so many laps. Yeah, podium's always great. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy on the night. I wish uh, I could have held on to it a little bit longer. But, um, yeah, it was good to lead laps and uh, just get that feeling. I've, 
I've never led a main event before, so it was uh, really cool just to be up there with the guys and be in the mix, and I think that's just the feeling that I've been looking for all season. So, uh, yeah, I feel like we're building, and uh, this is a good step forward. Uh, Jason Wygant. Yeah, thanks, Jason, for Racer X. Um, Austin, you had a real battle there uh, with Jet for a while. Just take me through that, and then you were actually able to get back away, and then he came back on you. Um, did you know that was him there, and what was that battle like? Yeah, I knew that um, we were coming through the pack kind of together, and um, I got hung up behind Chisholm for kind of a couple laps there, and, and then as soon as I got him, I was hoping that I would break away, and I think I did for a little bit, and then he reeled me in, and... Um, we kind of we battled a little bit. He squared me up, and then I went off the track, and then I got him back in the next turn. Um, we kind of had a battle right there for a little bit, and then uh, it was kind of like whenever um, RJ whenever RJ went down, I was like, okay, like I need to go. Like if I got a chance at this, like I gotta go. So that's when I was like, I really need to try to go. And then I got him, and then I didn't really hear Jet being that close until like the last lap again, and I was like, all right, like it's last lap like let's like let's go basically um and uh yeah i was able was able to i knew i knew he would be fast in the whoops too so i kind of just sent it the last lap in the whoops and got a little sketchy but nothing too bad um but um yeah it was a good battle um that's i wanted a battle like that all season you know that 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 that's you know good battles like that is something that i've like i said being hurt a lot of missed michael antonovich well thanks daniel this one is for austin as well uh, Austin, for you to be in the heat race and hit the deck like that on the last lap to come back to where you are uh, after some of the setbacks that you've had in the last few years, where was your head at going into the main event? Um, was that one easy to get over or was it kind of another bump in the road? No, it was actually, it was actually a good feeling to hit the ground and not break. <laughs> that was actually what Robbie told me. He was like, sometimes like crashes like that, well, like, well, I, you never want to crash, but... Um, just as much as I've been hurt, it's it's sometimes nice to fall and and be able to get back up. Just to be like, okay, like you know, like I can I can crash hard and I can get back up. You know, finish the race, whatever. So, um, in a weird way, it gave me I guess maybe a little bit of confidence. I, I don't know. It was, it was a weird thing. Obviously, you never want to crash. And I was kind of like uh, after I I had G work on me a little bit and just kind of straightened my back out a little bit. That was the only thing because I just kind of smacked into that berm. Um, other than that though. If anything, it just fired me up for the for the um, the the main. You know, obviously, whenever you have a bad heat race, that always fires you up for the main. And not that it was bad; I was riding good. Just what happened. So um, yeah, I mean, it, whatever it happened, and I rode good in the main. So it is what it is. Hey, for you and Jet both, that last lap was kind of what we've been waiting for all year. Just both of you guys, heads up. Uh, for both of you, how did that feel in the moment? Were you aware of the opportunity, and was it like, this is my chance to go at it with this guy finally? Did either of you feel that way, or was it just another lap? I um, I actually really liked it, to be honest. It, uh, I think it almost helped me just not even worry about the championship. It was uh, – I was – more so excited about the actual race than the actual championship at the end, to be honest, because it was in a, it wasn't just like oh catch and pass and and go on. We both uh, were going yo-yoing a, a lot. He would get a guy, then I ended up getting the guy. So it was it was fun and and uh, and the whoops were like they were smaller, but they were still tricky. And and like he said before, I seen that last lap through the whoops and he hang off the back of that thing. I'm like, he's going for it, damn. But um. No, it was – I had a lot of fun. I think that's been one of my f more fun races, I feel like, just because I couldn't uh, just go catch and pass wherever I wanted. I actually had to set it up a lot more because uh, it was not one line around the track, but that was definitely the main fast one. And uh, I tried some different lines, made some mistakes, but uh, it was – this track was so on – just being consistent, not making mistakes, and uh, a lot of the time I just I just had to follow because he's in the main line. But I think uh, I wish we would have had more of these because I felt like this would have made my season way more fun than uh, than it actually is. But um, no, I wish uh, I wish we can do the same at the. Hopefully, we can do the same at the last round. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the same. It was it was good battling, and and um, that's. That's always that's always fun. It's always it's always. I mean, as a as a rider, there's always sometimes you know you're you're like, hey, let's just hold shot, let's get out front, let's cruise. 
Um, but then there's also the side of you that likes to battle. You know, there's there's kind of both of those sides. And um, I, I knew I was going to be battling with the start that I had. I knew that I was going to be battling with guys and passing guys. So it was, yeah, it was good. It was, it was good racing. Uh, good, you know, everybody, we really all rode clean races. You know, it was nothing, no crazy drama, just um, good racing tonight. And well, and to go off points. that, sorry, is uh, it's one of the main reasons why we get into the sport is because of that close battle that we can get really close. And unlike uh, like some Formula One cars, you get close, you everyone backs down because the the cars are so fragile. Where in our sport, we're allowed to get nice and close, and and uh, I think that's what makes our sport so great. And that's what we all I know I can speak for all three of us up here. That's what we got into the sport for is that real intense close racing. Cool. Thanks, boys. Congratulations, Jeff. Uh, David Iser. Uh, thanks, Jeff. I'll give my question to Matt because he didn't he didn't get enough uh, questions tonight. You want me no, to? No, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, hey uh, Jeff, Jeff, you had a couple uh, uncharacteristic X, uh, you know, crashes and tip overs and practice and stuff. There's there's stress that goes along with this championship. I know that you were smiling and you were, you were putting that off, but what about coming into this day, knowing what it had to be done, stress versus reality and, and getting it done tonight? To be honest, I wasn't like, it, I wasn't stressed and wasn't trying to put it off. I mean, I think this was one of the most, I think uh, definitely lucky that I was in this situation really. I mean, I was more calmer than last week and I could say going to East West shootout, to be honest. Uh, but um, no, I mean today it wasn't those those smiles weren't fake. I mean they what what wasn't trying to cover over anything and, and that tip over in the uh, in the quality was it was weird. I this I went off and I ended up just missing my back brake, which uh, was sucked. I, if I would have stayed in, I would have railed the turn. But um, no, it just uh, I don't think I was actually stressed at all all day to be honest. I think I was just going back to almost like first race like enjoying it like again and uh i think uh, it kind of helped me just have more fun with the track because this track was such a different track from the rest of the layouts this uh this year and i think i actually enjoyed it a lot more because it was so technical peaky and and uh you had to be smart with your with your lines and decisions all right thanks but also this one's for you considering the history with what happened with you and jet this year it seemed like you guys had a genuine moment there after the the race, could you kind of share what Jet said to you and what y'all shared after that after the after the race? I mean, he said good job, and I said good job to him. You know, he said good job for winning the race. I said good job for winning the championship, and we were just like, man, like wish we could have done that more this season. Like it would, it just you know, it was good racing. It's good racing. So um, that's that's pretty much what we said. It was pretty much as simple as hey, good job, hey, good job, and like let's hopefully do that again in the last couple races and. You know, depending on if I'm in the 250 class or what happens next year, I'm do it next year, you know. All right, thanks. Uh, Joseph Allen. All right, Jet. So I picked fun at you earlier today for getting second in qualifying. And instead of answering like a typical 18-year-old, you showed maturity. And you're like, hey, I don't get paid for qualifying. Then I followed that up and I asked you, do you think you're the fastest 250 rider out there in Supercross? Again, you didn't answer like a typical 18-year-old. You showed maturity. And you said, hey, there's any rider that could throw their leg over the bike and give it to me. And then lastly, I asked you, do you have a girlfriend? And again, you didn't respond like a typical 18-year-old. You showed maturity. You said, I'm focused. I don't pay it any attention. You left Australia, and at 18, you are now a Supercross champion. What types of things had to come together for you to bring that maturity in to make it happen this year? Um, I would say just the people that uh, surrounded by me. That's the. I mean, everyone says you got to surround yourself by good, uh, by good people. And I think I did, I've done quite well with that. And then obviously like some of those hard hits. Uh, I think uh, just realizing that you don't want to keep on doing that. And the, obviously the people around me given with me about it. And um, and yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing. I never. I don't ever really think I'm the best guy out there. I mean, there's always someone that can like tonight, Austin. He was the better guy today, and I think it's it, that's how good everyone is nowadays. Is that anyone who's feeling it can win? I mean, uh, I bet you at any other races, if Pierce was on, I I bet you a hundred bucks he could beat me. It's it's just that type. Everyone's so close nowadays that it's just kind of whoever's feeling good that day, and uh, and 
Yeah, and obviously the biggest thing is just learning from my mistakes is uh, one of my big things that kind of helped me mature and, and, and like I said before, just the, the group around me. Solid, solid. I love that. All right. Congratulations, guys, and uh, we'll see you in Salt Lake City at the uh, East-West Showdown. Congrats. Thank you.